Welcome everybody to the forest. Um, this is my first uh, video that I'll be posting on my channel, my new channel. Uh, I'm Cause and Effect, if you, uh, as you guys can know. Um, the developers just recently released uh, this game, um, and they just came out with a new update for it. A save fix, because when they released the game, the save crashed. Um, I'm going to go straight into the game. Uh, it's an alpha phase, obviously. Um, I'm glad the save works, but the problem with that when they when they fixed the save was that it it made it so that the items in your inventory when you loaded the game back up they disappeared, and so they released a fix for that, but it did not work. So a ton of people are angry. Um, I'm kind of mad because my save was screwed over. So I'm going to restart for you guys this time around. I'm just gonna, you know, go through it a little bit. I'm not gonna try too hard because my save, when I, once I reload in my save, all my items in my inventory, most of them at least, are going to be gone, and that's that's a real downer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna um, just try to explore a little bit. Okay, this game so far is beautiful. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is so fun for an alpha. I mean, I mean, what more could you ask for? And I know the developers are working hard to get this uh, going. Okay, I, I always look at him, and then he he like falls forward during this part. It's, it's hilarious. And there he goes. <laughs> Alright, let's get started after we see this. Hello. You um, having fun there? Chilling? Yeah. Hey man, that's my son, bro. No. No. Okay, that's not cool, yo. Okay, so I imagine the object of this game really is to get your son back. And to do it without, well... I was going to say do it without dying, but that's the whole point of this game. To not die. And that is what we're going to try to be doing today on this. Uh, I'm going to try to record probably around, uh, I don't know, probably around close to 20 minutes. Um, and see how that goes. There we go. I always crash right here. Literally, always crash in front of this boat. I don't know why. Get this rabbit. I wonder when they're gonna be uh, if we're gonna be allowed to use rabbit skins for anything. A, a problem that people are having uh, that I've encountered with the game as well is uh, the enemies are extremely overpowered. Which is unfortunate, yes. Um, but not only that, but they travel in packs. Uh, usually packs of three to four, which really, really sucks. Because they're so overpowered. But I know um, many people probably found ways to get around that. I know I have. Uh, there's. I used to just... Uh, whenever, I, whenever I started earlier... Um, I just made a, a base right over right over there in that area and I, I'm not I'm gonna make a, a shelter probably probably not right there because there is an enemy base right over there across the other side of that plane <clears throat> and which if uh, many of you maybe not have known but the cave entrance is right next to that base as well which is pretty interesting and if any of you have been in the cave, you know that's that is a crazy place to go. Unfortunately, the creatures in there, uh, a lot of the a lot of the new creatures that nobody has really seen, uh, kind of a uh, glitch themselves. All right, so I'm going to collect a few resources here. I know on one of the updates they fixed quite a few stuff. I know better uh, chopping mechanics were implemented. Which is great. Of course, any update is really great as long as it doesn't mess up.
Hopefully we won't get ambushed as soon as we start playing. I know that happens almost every single time. I think I'm going to build a shelter probably right here. I don't know. Is that a good area? It seems like it'd be okay. I know every time I build over there, I always get ambushed right off the bat. I don't think this is too bad of a spot to start. Maybe right next to this water. Okay, let's see. We'll start right next to this water. Um, if you don't know the basic uh, tutorial, you have shelter, uh, basic fire, and then foraging, you have your oval leaf blueberries, which are the edible ones that are indigo and have a little crown on the tip, and then the toxic ones um, the, with their black color and they, and they grow in pairs. Okay, so we're going to start with a hunting shelter. Uh, may not be ne necessary. But we'll go with it anyways. All right, so I need, only need one more stick. I don't need to cut down the tree for that. Rock, rock, leaves, sticks. Okay. Molotovs are usually the best thing. To, oh gosh, there they are already. Oh no. Oh no. See, that should have been a good spot. But of course. Really, I, I, I do believe wherever you build, it does not matter. I think they always come that way for some reason. It, it really sucks. It really does. But I guess that adds a, another, you know, another twist on the whole surviving aspect of the game. So now I need eight logs. But yeah, so far this game is super fun, even in the alpha phase, with all of its downfalls, it's still been able to be a great game to play, it's still super fun, it has a lot of replay value, it's only $15, if anybody wants to get it, I would I would personally highly recommend it, um, I even got one of my friends who usually doesn't, uh, he doesn't play PC games, really, and he's kind of skeptical about it at first, but I got him playing it, and he loves it himself, and he doesn't have a PC um, to play games on, but because of this game, I believe he would like to get one now. So if a game can make somebody do that, then you gotta know it's it's got something in it that's worth getting. So I think they moved off somewhere. Hopefully they won't come back. Is that? I hate having to deal with them. But it's nice living by the water because they're supposed to be afraid of the water, or not necessarily afraid, but they don't like it that much. So going into the water is always an option. But what they usually do is they usually just—I mean—they usually just follow you into the uh, into the water. But you float, and they don't float, which is kind of a good thing. I, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Alright, so we're just about done. These last two logs. Oh, here they go. I know logs love to roll infinitely in this game. So far in the alpha, that at least. But we've got a little bit of armor. Um, lizards aren't that hard to come by, thank goodness. So we can always get armor. Okay, oh. I actually didn't know. I've never actually built. Um, a shelter in the grass before I've always started on the beach which to me is a great place It's very open and uh, you can see your enemies pretty closely um, but I didn't know that it, it, it cut the grass out right here which is pretty cool I wasn't aware of that alright so let's make a basic fire just get this thing started we're not gonna do too much with this there's not too much that you can do alright so that's good that's good I just wanted to get a little base camp set up so when it comes nighttime I can go to sleep and I don't have to waste all my time and, and try to and get killed easy that way. And here's a spear. Use it to catch some food. And this is a beer bottle. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, medicine? I know the game had glitched on me. Uh, one time I wasn't able to use medicine even though I had it that was very discouraging and I needed to heal and not everything heals you very quick I think medicine brings your health up all the way 
um, and everything else doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I know it brings it up at least like a third of the way. There they go over again. Oh my gosh. Gah. Can't stand them, guys. It gets ridiculous. Get my axe back out. So we're just going to really see how long we can survive this time. Uh, hopefully we can last a while. Maybe a few days. I don't want to get too long. I don't want to get too boring either. If you guys got any suggestions for what I should do with this, um, anything in the game that you'd like to see, uh, I can try to do that for you if you just leave that in the comments. And if you like these videos, uh, please like and uh, subscribe. Um, I'm just starting up this channel, trying to get it going. So all the support I could have would be greatly appreciated, you guys. Alright, so I don't see them. I guess they moved on. Maybe this was a decent spot to build. That. Oh, wait. Well, that was a group of four of them right there. What are they doing? Are they just running around? They're just running around. That's, that's a lot of fun, you guys. Okay. So, what else can we do here? Um, there's fire, basic fire, standing fire, fire pit, shelter. I know log cabins. They're nice, but um, if you don't complete it right now, uh, it, it won't be there. None of the stuff you when you save up is there again if it's if you haven't completed it already. Log holders, they haven't been working for me. Custom buildings, um, furniture, nothing there. Traps, deadfall, happy birthday. I've used deadfall trap twice and it's worked. And I, I know Happy Birthday Trap is supposed to be really good. Uh, rabbit Cage. I don't... If Does anybody know how to find string? I've never actually found string. I don't know if they've implemented that actually into the game. They should have because you can you can click to place it. So I imagine strings in this game, but I've never f found it before. If anybody knows where that is, uh, please post it in the comments. Let everybody know. Uh, small Raft and Effigies. Not sure exactly what Effigies do. I thought that they were used to keep your enemies... Uh, off, uh, but they really haven't done that recently. All right. So let it, we need to cook. We need to cook something. All right. I should have done that earlier. All right. We're gonna cook this rabbit. And hope they don't come over here. These birds. Man, they need to fix the amount of birds that come over here and land on your stuff. Come on, rabbit. Cook, cook, cook. Alright, so yeah, eating food, um, it does replenish your uh, your hunger bar or meter all the way up. Um, and it does replenish your energy all the way up, which is good. But not always your. What? What did you get here? I. I never seen them before. I don't know if those bodies spawn randomly or they're set places. I know there are some that are at set places. There should be some cases. Yeah, here they are. Here's some suitcases. Should have some good amount of supplies on them. Flashlight and some cloth. I know Molotovs are wonderful. They have cloth and uh, alcohol. You guys have noticed there have been a ton of tennis balls probably in these cases. I don't know if you guys have found it or not. I think in the next episode, um, I'm going to try to find. I think I actually I, I know my I, I think I remember where their uh, their city is. I don't know if anybody's seen the the city type uh, place they have the mutants have in this game it's it is insane I'm gonna try to find that uh, hopefully I won't die but I'll go prepared to die try to have a lot of resources it's pretty insane oh man let me go to this boat oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh they saw me oh no 
like I said, they'll follow you into the water, but they can't actually hurt you. You can look through the water and you know you see your little swimming and the glitch of the water. They'll follow you in here. They're not supposed to, but the water doesn't seem to affect them any. But if you go in this boat, they can't get in, so that's that's pretty awesome and nifty. It's a good way to escape really quick if you if you go on the beach. They have some flares, some snacks. And some alcohol cloth. Alright. So they're they're just gonna stand around and, and walk down there and walk around. What I like to do booze cloth. Just make some Molotovs while they're down there. And just if they stop running. Is he right there? Oh crap, I missed. Come on. Run this way. There he goes. He ran straight into it. Nice. Because the water doesn't. Uh, I mean, the Molotovs don't get affected by the water either. Another thing I like to do, because if you don't want to. If you can't directly throw it down, another way to get it good and accurate is to just re equip something. Because it drops those. And hopefully the one might run into it. I don't know how I got covered in blood. No. Alright. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh my, there's more. Alright, good they didn't see us. There's that one over there. Maybe we get out of here scot-free. Hopefully so. I don't really want to fight any of them. Get back over here real quick. Alright. Got lucky. That was super close. I really didn't want to die that soon. Okay. Whew. But now we should have plenty of materials. We have five snacks. Four sodas. Some change. I'm being followed. Thought I heard footsteps. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so what should I do now? Hmm. Alright. Let me go into the forest and just explore for a second. Like I said, oh, okay. There's effigies right here. Well, that I've heard a theory that they come to the effigies as like checkpoints, um, and that if there's something near these that they don't like or is out of line, that they check their little squadrons, then they'll investigate. And I I would happen to build a base right across from them. But in all essence, it's basically impossible not to build one near any of them because they're really everywhere if you've looked around you've probably seen them almost everywhere and they're so hard not to build near Oof. all right all right so I guess that's it for this episode guys if you like the video please go down there and click like if you uh, would like to see more videos or would like to tell me some videos that you would like to see or some video games that you would like to see some gameplay above uh, please subscribe um, and I will see you guys in the next video.